two for two. I'm back with another review. Oh my gosh, that was so corny. But anyways, I'm doing a review on uh, Pillsbury Toasted Strudels. And it is cinnamon roll. <laughs> but anyways, I never seen these before. Um, so I want to do a review on it. So they've been out forever. Oh, well. Um, I want to try them because I'm not a fan of cinnamon roll, cinnamon rolls. This is by, it's come, it's allegedly, it says on the box, it's made by cinnamon bun, cinnamon And I think I know, I just don't like cinnamon rolls. And so I'm just going to get my opinion on these while I'm here. Um, so the main ingredient, let's see what the top ingredient is. Enriched flour bleach. Nutritionist facts. You get one pastry with icing, and the calories are 180. So I guess that's including the icing, unless the icing got in a whole nother. So I guess with both of them together, both of them sugars together, you get 180. And the allergy information, because they give allergy information on this website. See, this Pillsbury actually knows what they're doing. They actually have a website, actually have the allergy facts. And it contains wheat, milk, and egg ingredients. So if you got allergies about that, that's what you are. Um, I mean, sorry. That's what's in it. I don't know why my words be. So, honestly, when I was going into this, I was just like, cinnamon rolls, like, it just tastes like some sweet bread. Like, dry up sweet bread. And that's all it tastes like to me. Every single time when I have a cinnamon roll, all I taste is dried up bread. It's like the middle be dry, the corners be dry. I be trying to eat the icing part because the rest of it be dry. <laughs> it's just like, it's just like animal crackers are way better to me than some cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon rolls are garbage to me. Can't change my mind. <sighs> Bless. Them things are so dry. So let's go on get into this. Um, You get six in the package, six pastries. I ate two of these. Well, no, I only ate one of these, and then I ate another, another um, flavor or whatever you would call it. And so, I would say this actually tastes better than a regular cinnamon roll. I would say that as a person who doesn't like cinnamon rolls at all. Um, when I purchased this again, yeah, you only get, I mean, the serving size is one. So, like, this healthy lifestyle I'm trying to do. This would cut into it. This would make this would make this an unhealthy lifestyle. But it's all about healthy choices. Just because I make one unhealthy unhealthy choice doesn't mean that I'm about to kill myself just like that. You you on this life journey of being healthy and being moderate and also just being aware of health is be able to eat what you want at the same time, but eat it in majority uh moderation <laughs> majority um but eat it don't eat it like constantly all throughout the day make at least if you're gonna eat it for a cheat day or something make sure you exercise the next day or like if you i'm, I'm gonna say this i'm gonna give some advice if you just have a day on your well i don't like saying diet because it just you still eating so on your healthy choices if you mess up one day don't let that affect you pick yourself back up you messed up that one time get over it move on it's not like you're not doing what you're supposed to do you're exercising you're eating right so if you mess up that one time how's that gonna affect you you just got to pick it back up or just keep on moving forward so i'm gonna get i'm gonna write this uh a six out of ten. It's not my favorite out of the toasted strudels. Growing up, I always liked the strawberry one, the original, the strawberry, and I also like the cream cheese one. That one is, uh, is it? I mean, the Danish one, whatever it is, Danish cream cheese. I think I love that one. That's one of my favorites. 
um and it's just it's showing all these recipes with the on the website also since we talking about the website and stuff it's showing like different recipes how people eat these like i will show y'all this but it just look disgusting eat the pastry how it is stop adding mess on it i want to do a video inspired to these companies that be like here are ideas like wrist crackers crackers for example they always got these little if you buy the crackers they always had like these little um ideas of how to eat the crackers so they be having these nasty ideas like they have like the peanut butter one with the marshmallows it was okay but i wouldn't eat that again and then they had one with like dressing and all that. it was just a mess it was just like just eat it how it is stop being extra it's like who is eating like that 24 7 have to be like extra with everything i don't think nobody is that extra to the point where they gotta dress some up just like that 24 7 like 365 of the year nobody's doing that and somebody will be like yeah i do that no you don't you don't do that no 365 of the year and if you are chill chill <laughs> so um let me I, mean, I got off the subject but okay let me just get to it again let me just shorten this up and just overall as i already know it's very flaky like i like it it's very flaky it's golden brown all you do is just put it in the toaster oven or put it in there a toaster or put it in the actual oven and cook it for at least five minutes i think i'm not sure i'm not the person who make this like i think i put it on like 350 or something and it was either 10 minutes or five minutes i cannot remember and it came out it's very i would say the texture of it is like flaky but i don't know with that with that cream on the inside like the the stuff on the inside the pastry stuff i mean the sauce or whatever on the inside it kind of makes it very soggy, but not too soggy to the point where it's like drowning in sogginess. It's like, it's like it has like a little dip in it. I would say this, it gives a lot of dip into like when you take it out, it's like going to be a sudden fall in like the middle of the pastry. And I cooked it right. Cooked it right. It was golden brown. Like I say on the instructions and all that. So let me look at these comments. So the top the top comment is um toaster strudels for life. Very corny, but okay, sis. I'ma look at a negative comment that gave one review. Can't find this anywhere. Please provide real tailor near and they get a zip code. Also more icing for all flavors. Packets contain so little it's ridiculous. Um I don't think so. I don't think Unless you like a sweet tooth, I would understand if you was like a sweet tooth and you needed more sugar on this. Like, like I feel like the icing is just like supposed to amplify it. Like, bring the icing and the stuff on the inside together and the flakiness of the actual crust and all that. It brings it together. But adding more is like eliminating the flavor of the actual dish together. I would say loading it with icing. Um, for some reason, I think these are California zip codes, but they're saying that you can't find it. Like, um, I went to, with my grandparents to the military base and I saw these. So I know they're not easy to find the cinnamon roll when like, I don't know if it's just like, it's a limited, low key, a limited edition, but at the same time you can find this. I don't know. It's it like I never saw this in the local stores where I live. I never saw them or in general. I just haven't saw these. This is my first time tasting them. Um, I like them. I'm gonna eat this. I'm not gonna eat get any more again because they're not like my all time favorite. My all time favorite is the wild berry one. That's my favorite. So are y'all gonna try this? The overall the overall score for this is like a four out of five, so that's just about where I'm at. I'm giving it. I was gonna give it. Um, I said a. What did I say? I either said a six or a seven. No, I said a six. I said a six out of ten. And if I didn't correct me, but um, 
So this is just around, I would give it more of a three and a half than a four altogether. But this is the overall, it's only 18 reviews. So, I mean, <laughs> and I haven't, I don't see where, Um, that's the thing with Pillsbury. I don't see anything of them replying back to the people giving reviews. I guess they only apply to them through email and don't show it that they reply to the people who did a review online like on the what was it the Quakers website they actually show where they replied to it and gave back you know you can get your feedback and they apply back to you and it shows on the website but I guess on this website allegedly it doesn't show up on the actual website if they replied or not um but that's it. Um, like, comment, subscribe. I already gave uh, gave it a six out of ten. Are you gonna try these? Look on their website and look at all these little dishes they got on here for these toasted strudels. It's just a mess. Eat it how it is. Stop doing the extra. Eat it like how it came. And if you want, if you want in Pillsbury, if you want this, if you showing all these recipes, how about you make them and sell them this way then? Um, stop being petty and giving recipe ideas. Well, you know, nobody got time for that unless you about to make it for a regular Joe like me. <laughs> okay, like, comment, subscribe. Bye. <laughs> I, <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> I got that from um, watching Lexi TV, but okay. Bye.